The Holy Tales. What happened, Freckles? Why are you crying? Uh, Gumbo has two candies. I am asking him to share one with me because I love them so much. <laughs> no, I just have two. It's all right, Gumbo. Let me tell you a story about generosity. I hope this will help you understand how important it is to share. One Sunday morning, a pastor came out of the church and saw a bunch of young children were unable to go for Sunday school as the building was filled with too many people. There was one little girl among the group of children and her name was Harriet. She was six years old. When the pastor saw her, he picked her up in his arms and carried her into the church and found her a place to sit for her Sunday school. The next day when the pastor was on his way to the church, he met Harriet once again and stopped to talk to her. He said, Hello Harriet, how have you been dear? I am good father, and you? I am good too my sweet child. You know something, Harriet? What, Father? I hope someday that the church will be able to build a large building for children like you who want to attend Sunday school. Harriet thought about it for a while. Then they bid goodbye to one another and left on their own ways. A couple of years later, Harriet fell very ill and soon she died. Harriet's mother called for the same pastor to preach over her funeral. After the service, Harriet's mother came up to speak to the pastor. Father, I have to give you something which my little Harriet left behind for you. <laughs> what is it, dear? Harriet's mom handed him over a small bag which contained 57 cents. Father, Harriet had been saving her pennies to help the church build a new Sunday school building for all the children who wished to attend. The pastor was touched. He smiled to himself and went back to the church. He went and told them about the little girl who was saving up all her pennies only so that the church could build a new building for Sunday school. The people of the church were inspired by this little girl's effort. Hearing this, all of them got together and tried very hard to build a new building. And very soon, they did. The building was wonderful and had plenty of space for all of the children who wanted to attend Sunday school. So, Harriet gave more than anyone to build this great church. She gave everything that she had. So, every little thing we have is a gift from God. Always remember, if ever a day comes where you have to share or give back, you should do it with a cheerful heart. Sorry, Freckles. Here, take both the candies. The Holy Tales Calm down. I'm definitely going to tell you a story. Today's story is about a woman called Ruth. Um, this name sounds familiar. Yes, it is. Ruth is a very important woman character in the Bible. It is important that you know of her story. Yippee, Holy! Go on with the story and tell us all about Ruth. Okay, so Ruth is a woman of great importance in the Bible. She is known for her loyalty and she had full faith in God in her heart. Ruth lived in a little village called Maud and she was a young girl when she got married to a man named Mahalon. Mahalon and his family had moved to Maub because their village had been attacked by a major famine. As soon as Mahalon's family reached Maub, he died because of a severe illness and left behind his wife Naomi with two of their children, Mahalon and Chilion. When Malon grew up, he was married to Ruth, while Chilion was married to Oprah. 
10 years after they got married, both Marlon and Chilean died, leaving behind Naomi, Ruth and Oprah all alone. With no one left alive in her life, Naomi decided to go to Bethlehem. She said to her daughters-in-law, There's no one left in my family anymore apart from the two of you. I have decided to go to Bethlehem. Two of you can leave me and go wherever you want to go. You can go back to your own families if that makes you happy. Hearing this, Oprah decided to go back to her family. She knew if she went to Bethlehem with Naomi, her life would be even more difficult. But to Naomi's surprise, Ruth said, Don't ever ask me to leave. Where you go, I go. Where you stay, I will stay with you. Your friends will be my friends, and your God will be my God. Naomi was happy in her heart of hearts to hear this. The journey to Bethlehem was a long and a difficult one, and she couldn't have made it alone. Also, she loved Ruth for her clean and pure heart. So, Oprah left for her home, and Naomi and Ruth left together for Bethlehem to live the rest of their lives. Shortly after arriving, Ruth met a rich landowner in Bethlehem named Boaz. She started working in his field to provide for herself and Naomi. Her dedication and loyalty towards her work really impressed Boaz and he wanted to marry her. Boaz and Ruth soon got married and Naomi was very happy for them and blessed them with all her heart. Eventually, Naomi gave birth to a son and they named him Obed. Obed is the grandfather of David and thus is named as one of the ancestors of Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew and in the Gospel of Luke. So, this is the story of Ruth who was faithful not only to God but also to Naomi when she was all alone. She was a loyal servant of God and God blessed her for her loyal and faithful virtues. This makes Ruth one of the most remarkable women of the Bible. Wow! That was a wonderful story, Holy. It was so sweet of Ruth not to leave Naomi alone. Yes, that is why she is known to be the most loyal and the most faithful woman in the Bible. Now, it is time for today's question. What was the name of the rich landowner where Ruth began to work? His name was Boaz, and I earned brownie points. The Holy Tales Today, I'm going to tell you the story of Hagar. Yippee! It's story time! Hagar was a young Egyptian woman who worked as a servant for Abraham and his wife Sarah. She lived in their house and did all the chores that she was asked to do and more. For a long, long time, Sarah couldn't have any children. So, Sarah asked for Hagar's help. And as per the practices of those days, the child which Hagar had would be credited to Sarah as the child's mother. Even though it was Sarah who herself had asked for Hagar's help, Sarah grew jealous of her and upset when Hagar had a son. Angry, she threw Hagar and her son out of her house. Hagar and her son had no place to go. She went across mountains, walked through forests and finally reached a desert. She was thirsty and exhausted and so was the baby. She sat down on the ground and cried. Suddenly, in the middle of the desert, an angel appeared to her. The angel said, My child, the Lord has promised a blessing on your son. However, you must name him Ishmael, which means God hears. Hagar was shocked. 
she finally composed herself and said, The Lord is the only one who sees me. Fourteen long years passed. Ishmael had grown up to be a young boy. Hagar decided to visit Abraham and Sarah. When she went to visit them, she saw Abraham and Sarah had given birth to their own son. Once again, Sarah was very angry with Hagar. She shouted at her and said, We all know why you have come back here with your son. You are here to take a part of whatever Abraham has as your son's rightful inheritance. That is never going to happen. Leave right now and take your son with you. Leave. Once again, Hagar and Ishmael fled to the desert. Before they had left, Abraham had given them a bottle of water and some food for their journey. But soon that bottle was over. They were almost dying when God sent his angel to her. The angel appeared to her in the desert once again and said, Do not be afraid. God shall protect you and your son. He has heard your crying. Don't you remember God's blessing? Saying this, the angel disappeared. And to Hagar and Ishmael's surprise, spring water appeared in front of them in the middle of the vast desert. Hagar and Ishmael drank water from the spring, and they survived. Ishmael grew up and raised a whole nation. He had many descendants who were divided into 12 tribes just as God had promised. So children, that was the story of Hagar, another remarkable woman of the Bible who was known for her faith in God. That was such a nice story, Holy. Hagar was such a strong woman. Yes. No matter how difficult life became, she never lost faith in God, and God rewarded her for that. Now it's time to win some brownie points. What's today's question, Holy? Well, today's question is, what was Abraham's wife's name? I know! Her name was Sarah! Yes, well done, Tabby. So, that was today's story. Hope you enjoyed it. We shall be back soon. Won't we, kids? Oh, oh yes, yes, we will. will. Bye-bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby. Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole